Welcome back to the last section of Chapter 1, Section 1.5. We're going to talk about circles in this last section. We're going to review standard form of a circle, graphing a circle by hand, graphing a circle with the calculator, and finally, the general form of a circle. So let's just talk about a circle for a minute. A circle is a set of points in the xy plane that are a fixed distance r from a fixed point hk. Now r, remember, would be your radius, and hk is the center of the circle. The fixed distance r is called the radius, and the fixed point hk is called the center of the circle. Let's look at this special circle. If the radius r equals 1, and notice our radius is 1, the circles whose center is at the origin is called the unit circle. Notice the center is at the origin 0, 0, and has the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. When we don't have a unit circle, that means that the radius is more or less than 1, we're going to use the standard form of an equation, and that's this one. Remember, hk is the center of the circle, and r is the radius. The standard form of an equation of a circle of radius r, with the center of the origin 0, 0, is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Let's look at their differences. Let's look at the first one here. If hk is the origin, that is 0, 0, then h and k are 0. So x minus 0 is just x, y minus 0 is just y, which leaves us with x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So let me show you how easy it is. Here's our equation down here, and h is the first ordered pair, k is the second ordered pair, and r is our radius. We're going to have x minus negative 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals our radius, which is 4 squared. So a negative negative is a positive, so it turns out that our equation is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. So let's graph this circle by hand. The first thing we need to know is our center, hk. Well, here's our h, and here's our k. Now, if we remember back to the formula, it's x minus h, y minus k. So it's the opposite of what we see here. So the center is actually negative 5 and 2. So let's put that in there. So we're going to go to negative 5 and then positive 2. So here's our center. The next thing we need to determine is the radius. Well, our radius is determined here, and it's actually the square root of 16, which is 4. And the reason is, remember in the formula, the square root is r squared. So if we made r squared equal to 16, to figure out what r is, we just take the square root, which gives us 4. So from our center, we're going to count out 4. One, two, three, four. And here's our point. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then here is our circle. Yikes! For those of you with a keen eye, you notice that I went one too many. One, two, three, four. So my circle should actually look like this. Okay, but let's continue. The next part of our question asks us to find any intercepts. And if we look at our graph, the only intercepts will happen along the x-axis or the x-intercept. Remember, when it's the x-intercept, y is 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 0 in for our y's. So we'll have x plus 5 
squared plus 0 minus 2 squared equals 16. So now we need to figure out what is negative 2 squared. Well, negative 2 squared is 4. I want to bring it to the other side, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So we end up with x plus 5 squared equals 12. Now I don't want to know what x plus 5 squared is, I just want to know what x is. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. We end up with x plus 5 equals, now the square root of 4 and the square root of 3, so we're going to have plus or minus 2 the square root of 3. I want to get x by itself, so x equals negative 5 plus or minus 2 the square root of 3 and this turns out to be our x-intercept. So let's graph this circle and it actually works on the 83 also. Once again if you have a different type of calculator you need to look in that manual to figure out how to do it or you may just have to solve for y in this equation. The first thing we need to do is fix our zoom. So the first thing we need to do is go into zoom and we'd want to go down to z square because that'll make our circle look really nice and then we're going to quit. Next we want to draw. So we're going to do second and here's draw. We're going to go down to number 9. Number 9 is our circle. So the first thing we're going to enter is the center of our circle, hk. So for this one it's negative 5, comma, 2, comma, and the last thing we enter is the radius. Now the radius for this one is 4 and we're going to hit enter and there's our circle. Unfortunately it seems like I can't use the calculator to find my x-intercepts but that's no problem because we can do it by hand. Let's try this one more time with this equation. The first thing that you always want to do is make sure that the zoom is on z square and then you quit. Now we're going to do second draw. We go down to number 9 and let me just show you what number 9 looks like. Circle. We put our center, our hk in first, so our center is 1, comma, 3, comma, it's really important to have the comma there, for our last um, entry which is the radius which happens to be 2 because remember it's the square root of this number. And then when we hit enter, there's our circle let's look at the general form of the equation of a circle. And as we look at it, I just want you to know that all we've done is foiled the x minus h squared and the y minus k squared. So let me show you how that works. Find the general form of the circle. So let me show you how easy this is. First what we're going to do is we're going to foil this guy. So hopefully you remember it's x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus, and now we're going to foil this one, y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 16. And now they put the x squared and the y squared next to each other. They put the 10x and then a negative 4y next to each other. And we're going to take 25 plus 4, which is 29. And we need it to equal 0, so we're going to subtract 16. So we have plus 13 equals 0. And that's the general form. Let's look at one that looks a little complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. Find the general equation of the circle whose center is negative 2, 3, and whose graph contains the point 1, 4. Well, first of all, we know what the center is, so that's our hk. So let's just start writing it out. 
x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals r squared. Now we don't know what our radius is, but the radius, remember, is the distance from the center to anywhere on the graph. So if this is my circle, here's my center, this is the radius. It's just the distance from the center to any point on the circle. And we actually have that. We have the center and a point on the circle. So let's find that distance. So d equals the square root of negative 2 minus 1 squared plus 3 minus 4 squared. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 squared plus 3 minus 4 is negative 1 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 squared is 1. And that, e and that equals the square root of 10. So our radius is the square root of 10. To put into our formula, let me erase this, and we're simply going to put 10 in there. And we're simply going to put 10 in there. Now our final thing to do is just foil this, foil this, and bring this over, just like we did. x squared plus 2 squared is x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 10. We're going to put our x squared and our y squared next to each other. x squared plus y squared. We're going to put our 4x and our minus 6y next to each other. 4 plus 9 is 13. Then we're going to subtract 10 because we need it to equal 0. So we have plus 3 equals 0. And that turns out to be the general form. So now you're ready to start 1.5 homework. The next homework you're going to have is just to review chapter 1 and then start on chapter 2, 2.1.